Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Abel, the Daily Trader. It is December 27th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. First, I hope you had a great uh, Christmas day. I hope you are enjoying this time with your family as much as you can. So uh, let's start this week by looking at Tesla. So uh, Tesla closed up $26.94. This is up 2.52%. We closed at 10.93.94. Okay, so let's look at what uh, this looks like on the chart. Okay, we have a green candle, so this is very nice. And look at this perfection. Look at this perfection. So we have the high of the day at 11.17. And look at how it perfectly matched the resistance. It's almost as if uh, we can predict what is going to happen. This is crazy. So very happy to see that uh, this resistance uh, has been obeyed so far. I'm not happy that it has been obeyed. I'm just happy that this resistance is the right resistance that was identified, but I would have preferred uh, Tesla to go up to 1210. It might still go there, but now we are making a pause here. We have a support here at the bottom of the third channel. So this is equal. Let me just show you here. So this is equal approximately tomorrow to 1050. And uh, this is also pretty much the same support that we had at 1054.69. So everything seems to jive. So the best case scenario would be for Tesla to just remain right here, take a little bit of a pause, and then move up. The other thing that can happen is that we could go down back to the support right here and retest again and do this a couple more times before breaking out. So I don't know what is going to happen. Nobody knows what is going to happen. Let's just keep looking and observing and try to decipher if this little bit of an uptrend is going to change or not. Let's go see the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, uh, we see it here. Uh, this is the nice uptrend that has been respected perfectly by Tesla. And uh, this is where we touched the resistance and we are doing a little bit of a pullback. So here on the one hour chart, which is a little bit tighter in terms of the, in terms of the leeway I am giving the stock because this is an hour chart, so it's uh, different. So we have a support at 1079.82 intraday. So if you look at Tesla during the day, you can uh, take a look at this 7982. And we are pulling back a little bit. So the first hour was nice green candle. And basically the second, third, fourth, and fifth hour were just hugging this resistance. And then the sixth hour, then we came back down a little bit. And seventh hour. The seventh hour is not too bad. We have a longer wick at the bottom here. So the stock went lower, but then came back up. So this is always nice to see. And so we are still above 1079.82 on this, on this hourly chart. So this is good. And what I, what I also like is that stochastic is quite high. So stochastic on the hourly chart is at 85 still when, even if Tesla had this drop here. This is telling me that maybe this is just a small pullback and the stock is still really strong and will continue. So I like to see stochastic at 85. I like to see RSI above 70. I like to see this is the overbought zone, but as we've seen in the past, a stock can stay in the overbought zone for a long time and uh, we should stay in it even though it goes overbought. MACD still, um, still crossed over bullish and DMI is still bullish. So even from the hourly perspective, the stock is still going strong. Let's just keep it at that. And let's look uh, tomorrow after the close, see if things have changed. Going back to the daily chart, uh, let's look at our indicators. So stochastic at 72. So stochastic has improved going even stronger. So this is nice to see. 
RSI stronger. And we now have a crossover bullish on uh, MACD. So uh, MACD is giving us a buy signal right here. So the buy signal happens when the blue line goes over the orange line. As simple as that. This is as simple as that. This is how this indicator works. And for DMI, we already had the buy signal not too long ago with the green line above the red line. So indicators are scary to some people, but as you see here, they are very easy to understand. The signals are very clear. You should not always base your decisions on one indicator, but you should base your decision on everything. The trend lines, which are the support lines and resistance lines, and also the indicators. All in all, good day with Tesla. Let's just keep in mind, let's just uh, take a look at what's going to happen tomorrow. So based on what I see yet, I don't see anything that would give me a major concern. But uh, let's keep our eyes peeled so that we are not surprised. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member if you like what I do. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.